I was wondering if you can comment, uh, as you're there in Washington, D.C., there are mass protests in Gaza, mm -hmm. um, and it looks like the deadliest day of violence with Israeli military uh, gunning down. Uh, it looks like, at this point, something like 37 protesters. Uh, overall, since March 30th, thousands have been uh, injured, I think something like 84 people killed. But the, pers uh, the person who is opening the ceremony for the U.S. Embassy uh, to be moved to uh, Jerusalem is Pastor yeah. Jeffress, mm -hmm. who has spoken out against Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, gay men and lesbians, Mormonism. Can you comment on what this Southern Baptist preacher represents from Dallas, Texas? Well, yes, and it's hurtful, but it's necessary. You know, I'm thinking about that this May 10th was the end of the Birmingham campaign's 50 um, 50-some years ago, 55 years ago, and remember, we saw the images of dogs uh, attacking children and women in Birmingham. And today, we see the images of drones attacking uh, our Palestinian brothers and sisters. Uh, we see our president uh, playing every race card he can, uh, connecting. He's an extremist, and he's connected with Netanyahu, who's an extremist. And now they're connected together, <clears throat> and he's doing this for all the wrong reasons, um, splitting people, splitting people who historically are brothers and sisters. Um, and now he has chosen not only Jeffers, but Hagee, who once actually described John Hagee, I understand, described Hitler as a hunter, a God-sent hunter uh, who was designed, ordained by God to hunt the Jewish people, to force them to come back to Israel in order to bring about uh, the coming of Christ. Jeffers, as you remember, also said at President Trump's inaugural uh, sermon that God endorsed the building of walls. Now, both of these men, if you really check their theology, they are not preaching Christian theology. They are heretics in many ways. Uh, what they're talking about is heresy. They claim to be Christian, and they claim uh, a certain brand of Christianity. But when you look at it theologically, it does not line up with the Scripture's call to love. It does not line up with the Scripture's call that you treat the person, uh, persons that are not of your particular race or your particular lineage as brothers and sisters. It does not line up with the Scripture's anti-violence, uh, anti-killing. Uh, this is just a form of of, of what—it's um, nothing more than a modern-day form of what uh, my good friend Jonathan Hartgrove calls slave religion, the kind of religion that abuses the Scriptures and uses it to support political opinions that are not the politics of God or the politics of Christ. Uh, Jeffers is, 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 is brewing hate and meanfulness. And by the president choosing him, uh, that joins him to that kind of theology. And we see it happening in this country. That same group of people will go in and pray, P-R-A-Y, with President Trump and his other allies in the Congress and, and bless them while Trump and his allies are praying, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, on the poor and the broken and the hurting uh, and the least among. It is, it is sad. It is theological malpractice. Uh, it is costing people their lives. Uh, it is mean-spirited, and the world should stand up and speak out against it, and clergy and people of faith should speak out against it. And we should stop in the media assigning Christian and evangelical to persons like this. We should, if we said we should say it in quotes, or we should call it what it is. It is not Christianity. It is not evangelicalism. It is not the religion of Jesus, who in his first sermon said it, to follow Jesus was to preach good news to the poor, to care for the brokenhearted, to, to provide liberty and healing to the bruised, and to declare the acceptable year of the Lord. Nothing in that says endorse killing, endorse hatred, endorse meaning. And lastly, Amy, the two pastors that are going over there, they don't even like Jewish people. They, they, are, they, they have some weird theology that by creating um, certain actions in Israel, it can force the coming of Christ. But they don't even believe anybody except people who believe like them are going to go to heaven. Well, I say what my grandmother and what the slaves used to say about slave master religion. 
everybody talking about heaven ain't going there. And, and Jeffers and Hagee and others like that who are abusing, who are misusing the theology of Christ uh, in, 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 to promote this, these attitudes and these actions of hate, they are wrong. It is heretical, it is theological malpractice, and it's high time that people of faith take it on. I'm an evangelical, and I'm deeply offended, deeply offended by what they're doing. Uh, before we go, I want to bring in Reverend Dr. Liz Theo Harris, who co-chairs the Poor People's Campaign. You visited Marks, Mississippi. In 1967, Dr. King was there, brought to tears as he met with the poor there, uh, one teacher dividing an apple into four parts so she could feed her four hungriest students. Um, Reverend Liz Theo Harris, as we wrap up, talk about your action today and why you're organizing around the country right now. Well, today, Amy, in, as Reverend Barber said, in almost 40 states across this country, there are people, impacted folks, poor people, who are taking action together. And we were in Marks, Mississippi. We were in Lowndes County, Alabama. We were in El Paso, Texas. We have traveled around this country because this campaign is a deep organizing drive amongst people who need to have their voices heard, need their stories to be told so that we hear that there are 140 million poor people in this country, that, there, that, that in this country there are 38 million poor children. Almost half of this country's children are poor. And, and this is unacceptable. And so people are taking action together, and not just today, but they are deep dive organizing in their communities. They'll return week after week for this 40 days and into the future as we build a deep moral movement to, to, to turn this country around. Well, I want to thank you both for being with us. We'll follow what happens today in Washington and what you're doing around the country. Reverend Dr. Liz Theo Harris co-chairs the Poor People Campaign, a national call for moral revival, with our other guest, the Reverend Dr. William Barber, both speaking to us today from Washington, D.C. This is Democracy Now! When we come back, the former finance minister of Greece will be joined by Yanis Varoufakis. Stay with us.